Hi California homeowners, if you're thinking about going solar, make sure to get your solar application submitted before the April 14th deadline when a new solar policy takes effect in California. If you don't, you'll miss out on tens of thousands of dollars in savings. I'm Spencer Fields at Energy Sage, and I'm here to answer your top questions about submitting a complete application before the deadline. There are a few components of a completed interconnection application. The first is a signed contract with your solar installer. The second is a single line diagram of the system, which can be very simple for a residential system. The third is the solar energy system disclosure. The fourth is the California Solar Consumer Protection Guide. And the fifth, if applicable, is an oversizing attestation if you're designing a system to be bigger than your current needs. There are a few things that can change after you've submitted your interconnection application and before you go solar that won't impact your status on NEM2. The first thing is you can replace your roof. Beyond that, you can upgrade your main electrical panel. You can add a battery. You can change your financing plan for paying for your solar or solar plus storage. You can decrease the applied system size by less than 20%. You can change the solar equipment that you're using so long as it doesn't impact those system size limits. And you can even update your meter, all without impacting your application status. After you submit your completed interconnection application, there are a few things that can't change without impacting your NEM2 grandfathering status. The first one is you cannot increase the system size that you applied for. The second one is you can't decrease the system size that you applied for by more than 20%. You can't change the generators included in your interconnection application, and you can't change the installer, though working with subcontractors is okay. Many homeowners in California aren't just thinking about solar for today, but also for the future. With that in mind, they're asking us at Energy Sage whether they should oversize their system when they submit their interconnection application before the April 14th deadline. On the one hand, if you plan on increasing your electricity consumption at your home in the near future, either by purchasing an electric vehicle or switching to heat pumps, then oversizing your solar panel system today makes a lot of sense and means that when you purchase that electric vehicle or heat pump, you'll have enough solar production to cover all of your new electricity demand. On the other hand, if you oversize your system by too much in your application, there's a chance that the application will be denied and you'll miss out on the savings from net metering too. So it's a balance. If you submit an interconnection application before the April 14th deadline, but that application is denied, Unfortunately, to the best of our knowledge, that means you're out of luck and you've missed out on net metering two savings. So before you submit your application, make sure you've dotted all your I's, crossed all your T's, make sure that in particular, the name on the electric bill matches the name on the contract that you sign with the solar installer and the application that you submit. And if you miss out on net metering two savings, don't worry, under net metering three, you can still save with solar, especially if you add a battery. And at Energy Sage, we're here to help.